ਡੰਡੋਤ ਬੰਦਨ ਅਨਕ ਬਾਰ ਸਰਬ ਕਲਾ ਸਮਰਥ ਡੋਲਣ ਤੇ ਰਾਖੋ ਪ੍ਰਭੂ ਨਾਨਕ ਦੇ ਕਰ ਹੱਥ ਵਾਹਿਗੁਰੂ ਜੀ ਕਾ ਖਾਲਸਾ ਵਾਹਿਗੁਰੂ ਜੀ ਕੀ ਫਤਿਹ ਹਾਂਜੀ ਜਸਕਰਨ ਸਿੰਘ ਜੀ ਹਾਊ ਆਰ ਯੂ ਆਮ ਡੂਇੰਗ ਓਕੇ ਨਾਟ ਟੂ ਬੈਡ ਅੱਛਾ ਜੀ ਇਟਸ ਨੋਇੰਗ ਟੂ ਦੇ ਵੈਦਰ ਬਹੁਤ ਪਿਆਰਾ ਅੱਜ ਤੇ ਫਰਸਟ ਟਾਈਮ ਸਨੋ ਦੀ ਫਰਸਟ ਟਾਈਮ ਸਨੋ 2022 ਇਟਸ ਲਾਈਕ ਉਹ ਕੀ ਜ਼ਾਦੇ ਆ ਇਟਸ ਸ਼ੁਭ ਮਹੂਰਤ ਬਣ ਗਈ ਸ਼ੁਭ ਮਹੂਰਤ ਹੋ ਗਿਆ ਹਾਂਜੀ ਬਹੁਤ ਕਿਰਪਾ ਮਹਾਰਾਜ ਦੀ ਅੱਜ ਵੈਲ ਥੈਂਕ ਯੂ ਫਾਰ ਕਮਿੰਗ ਡਾਊਨ ਟੂਡੇ ਵੀਰ ਜੀ ਫਾਰ ਆਰ ਫਰਸਟ ਐਵਰ ਐਪੀਸੋਡ ਆਫ ਦ ਸਿੱਖ ਪੋਡਕਾਸਟ ਤੇ ਅਸੀਂ ਬਸ ਇਦਾਂ ਹੀ ਗੱਲ ਕਰਨੀ ਸੀ ਤੁਹਾਡੇ ਨਾਲ ਅਸੀਂ ਕਿ ਸਾਂਝਾ ਵਿਚਾਰਦੇ ਆਂ ਇਕੱਠੇ ਥੋੜਾ ਜਿਹਾ ਬੈਠ ਕੇ ਸਿੰਸ ਯੂ ਹੈਵ ਬੀਨ ਵਰਕਿੰਗ ਵਿਦ ਬੇਸਿਕਸ ਆਫ ਸਕੀ ਫਾਰ ਅ ਵਾਈਲ ਨਾਉ ਤੇ ਆਮ ਪ੍ਰੀਟੀ ਸ਼ੋਰ ਕਿ ਆਲ ਦ ਲਿਸਨਰਸ ਨੋ ਦ ਆਰਗੇਨਾਈਜੇਸ਼ਨ ਹੋਪਫੁਲੀ ਕਿ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਨੇ ਸੁਣਿਆ ਕਿ ਬੇਸਿਕਸ ਆਫ ਸਕੀ ਦਾ ਕੰਮ ਕੀ ਹੈ ਉਹ ਕੀ ਕਰਦੇ ਨੇ ਹੂ ਸਟਾਰਟਡ ਇਟ ਹਾਊ ਇਟ ਵੈਂਟ ਥਰੂ ਹੁਣ ਆ ਜੋ ਕਿੱਥੇ ਖੜੇ ਨੇ ਸੋ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਦੱਸੋ ਵੀਰ ਜੀ ਹਾਊ ਹਾਊ ਵਾਸ ਦ ਬੇਸਿਕਸ ਆਫ ਸਕੀ ਜਰਨੀ ਫਾਰ ਯੂ ਜਦੋਂ ਕੈਨੇਡਾ ਚ ਪਹਿਲੀ ਵਾਰੀ ਜਗਰਾਜ ਸਿੰਘ ਆਏ ਵਰ ਯੂ ਲਾਈਕ ਵਨ ਅਮੰਗਸ ਥੋਸ ਜਿਹੜੇ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਨੂੰ ਮਿਲੇ ਕਿ ਵਾਸ ਇਟ ਲਾਈਕ ਅ ਰੀਸੈਂਟ ਜਰਨੀ ਕਿ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਤੁਹਾਡਾ ਮਿਲਾਪ ਪੂਰੀ ਟੀਮ ਨਾਲ ਹੋਇਆ ਔਰ ਸਮਥਿੰਗ ਇਨਸਪਾਇਰਡ ਯੂ ਤੁਹਾਡਾ ਸ਼ੁਰੂਆਤੀ ਜਰਨੀ ਕਿਵੇਂ ਬੇਸਿਕਸ ਨਾਲ ਸ਼ੋਰ ਹਾਂਜੀ ਮਾਰਾ ਜਸ ਕਿਰਪਾ ਦ ਪਰਸਨ ਹੂ ਯੂ ਆਰ ਸੀਇੰਗ ਰਾਈਟ ਨਾਉ ਔਰ ਮੇਬੀ ਹੀਅਰਿੰਗ ਰਾਈਟ ਨਾਉ ਡਿਡਨਟ ਲੁੱਕ ਹੀ ਡਿਡਨਟ ਹੈਵ ਦ ਗੁੱਡ ਸਿੱਖੀ ਸਰੂਪ ਇਟ ਵਾਸ ਜਸਟ ਹੀ ਕੁਡ ਬੀ ਅ ਐਵਰੇਜ ਪੰਜਾਬੀ ਪਰਸਨ ਲਿਵਿੰਗ ਇਨ ਬ੍ਰੈਂਪਟਨ ਆ ਵਾਸ ਅ ਮੋਨ ਆ ਹੈਡ ਮਾਈ ਹੇਅਰ ਕਟ ਐਂਡ ਯੂ نو ਆਲਵੇਸ ਗੋਇੰਗ ਟੂ ਦ ਗੁਰਦਰਾ ਸਾਹਿਬ ਆਲ ਇਟ ਵਾਸ ਵਾਸ ਓਕੇ ਮਾਈ ਪੇਰੈਂਟਸ ਬ੍ਰੌਟ ਮੀ ਥੇਰ ਐਵਰੀ ਸੰਡੇ ਮੱਥਾ ਟੇਕਣਾ ਔਰ ਮਾਈ ਪੇਰੈਂਟਸ ਲੁਕਡ ਐਟ ਈਚ ਅਦਰ ਕਿ ਹਾਂ ਚਲੀਏ ਦਾ ਲੰਗਰ ਹਾਲ ਐਂਡ ਥੈਨ ਆਫਟਰ ਦੈਟ ਵੀ ਗੋ ਲੰਗਰ ਹਾਲ ਐਂਡ ਥੈਨ ਵੀ ਜਸਟ ਗੋ ਹੋਮ ਸੋ ਦਰ ਵਾਸ ਸਿੱਖੀ ਵਾਸ ਇਨ ਥੈਟ ਮੀਨਿੰਗਫੁਲ ਟੂ ਮੀ ਤੇ ਮਾਰਾ ਜਸ ਕਿਰਪਾ um watching paji grad singh's videos the basics of sikhi videos um it allowed me to understand like okay this is more than just like okay bas matha teke kar chal jana it's not just a cultural thing it's not an identity thing ke, yeah you're sick because you're born into it it's there's something deeper than that there's spiritual things there's even political things there's things even in our social um the way that we live our lives that are completely different that mara just taught us mm-hmm. so but it just never had been brought to us in a in a simple like english manner where we would understand it the whoever would speak at the gurdwar obviously keeping the the maryada the you know the satkar the the respect for guru maharaj high so they would speak in very eloquent punjabi but for someone that grew up here it was it was not a thing so pai jagrat saying just putting videos and i was meanwhile in university uh, you know taking a plato's philosophy class and in that i was i was watching the videos and i'm like okay there's a lot of stuff that i can connect between plato's philosophy and then uh you know watching pai jagrat singh's videos and it turns out he ended up being an oxford graduate for philosophy yep so it it seemed like they knew exactly what they were talking about so mara did that kirpa and then i'm like okay chalo um you know i enjoy the videos and i'm going to try and put these into you know practice into my life but it wasn't that serious it was just you know just watching a youtube uh youtuber and just thinking that you know they're good at what they're doing and yeah. just a subscriber that's it as you would do to anyone else and then they had a, a tour announced where they're going to come over to canada and they said oh we need sevadars uh, to to have stalls to do street prachar and things like that i'm like okay maybe i could just show up and then help them out okay and and i had actually had the you know i guess the opportunity to meet with pai jagrat singh and they had so much love and i think that's where it started off like they never saw me as as someone that's just uh, you know that mon now or whatever i kept starting keeping my case at that time okay. but there was still so so much love like there there's so much love that was coming for them even even now like i remember before they left that i gave they gave like a huge hug and like halle tak even still to now i still remember that with like a lot of love so i watched their videos and i just remember their love as a result of it the holy holy just someone that used to show up just to understand um to get some things from the sings to understand a little bit of things and gain a little bit of more of my knowledge it turned into okay let, where are we holding a stall this weekend okay we're going to uh, go downtown and we're going to do some street prachar we did that and it just kept growing and growing more start their sangat that started calling us to um you know certain events we had t- the
so if you're mm. passing by the road you can't really tell if it's a gurdwara it looks like a house but it, uh, there's guru maharaj inside oh guru yeah i was driving down the road once and that's how i found it ke bar nishan sahib laga hoya so oh achhi cheez si so jagrat singh jadon adhar aaye ne te tade naal hor vi koi hai ga si was there anybody else jede te tanu lagda ke prabhav paya ke oh sari team cho sirf tusi hoye oh jede aage ja ke sevadar bane ne ya aaj sikhi de vich thoda lot aaye ne ya sikhi sambhalde tusi was it you ke hor koi hai ga si naal Oh we yeah we had a few different other sevadars uh, a lot of them that were from the Waterloo um area we had Pai Gurjot Singh Pai Tajinder Singh mm-hmm. Pai Jashan Singh a lot of these things um now it's kind of hard for them because they have started families and uh, they're involved in other seva and so it is it is tough at that angle but we've we've been continually growing i think i've been one of the people that have stayed for a while and mm-hmm. uh, just kind of made basics my life so right. mara just kripa um you know that's how it's going so there has been other people that have joined like yourself um yeah. you know you joined a few times when we've had events uh by Pete Singh over in Scarborough he's come out as well mm-hmm. uh during covid was such a tough time um no to one could say go to the, yeah to, to do so because we couldn't meet people in person mm-hmm. but we were like chalo si ki kar sakte hai some what can we do during this time and we started holding uh online artavichar sessions on Instagram live uh we started a book club so in the, and we we're still having that same full level of sangat in those like small um you know Meets. close knit meetings and things mm-hmm. like that so you know mara jaha thea that's right. for all of these different types of things that we're doing all these initiatives i personally never feel like how mera koi uddam ja raha that i'm putting in, a, in any effort mm-hmm. it's like seeing how i've changed from being completely a munna and like having no idea anything about sikhi and then who i am today mara jis kripa it's like it's all bakshish it's all like mara jis gift right. and i feel like every single type of thing i i participate in it's with that same hope that uh you know my mind will focus on maraj like there's 24 hours a day and in those 24 hours what we sp- use in that time is usually not anything to do with sikhi right? right so it's like just trying to continually um add aspects of my life that the, of those 24 hours to connect back to maraj and seva is the easiest way because mm-hmm. it's even if we're doing this right now we're going to be here for maybe an hour or two but then all we can think about is oh how do we share something with sikhi and sikhi is on our mind so that's that's uh the whole aspect even if i tell anyone that's um listening or watching to this a lot of people don't know who i am and i think that's a good thing um mm-hmm. i don't really like to talk about myself um even seva wise we have such beautiful prachariks out there like pai harman singh uh, pai apit singh even here locally we pai supreet singh in new york we have pai sukhdeep singh in uh, in england pai amandeep singh in england yep bibi gurpreet kaur in in malaysia i can list so many yeah, lots of now. a lot of sevadar so it's like you don't really need to know um about me uh in that type of context that does, that does sorry to cut you off that does sure. remind me of one of the times uh which was very recently last week when we had the program in Conestoga college so othe menu kisne dassya si ki that you were supposed to do the katha there right and then when everybody got to know ke supreet singh ji is coming down and uh, i think you were the one who told everybody that it's okay supreet singh ji can do it okay. and i know it's not a big deal uh that's what uh, i think jasneet singh said to me yeah, the other day yeah. He's like basic such a chakar nahi hai pange nahi hai ke ke who's doing the katha right, cuz anybody right. can do it right and so that's really good to see an organization organization that has sevadars like you guys you know not you, not to pump you guys but like gur prasad ke we have sevadars like these jinna de vich ego nahi hai who who can like kind of like substitute themselves for somebody else ke haan ji tusi chal jao it's okay i'm i'm like a local sevadar i can do that some some day else Boy. so oh cheez honi bhi zaruri hai when you have lots of sevadars and i'm pretty sure you went to uh, uk a couple times to do seva as well right i'm not yes. sure if if that that was like your seva training or something uh, no there was nothing formal there okay i just came as like you know as a good sick wanting to you know learn from you know these people that are have that have taught me so much through their youtube videos right so just someone want to grow more and it down there wherever we go if it's a new place is a high chance that that memory will be more ingrained in our minds ha mai utthe gaya si mai ek aur sikhya si So when it comes to Sikhi if we go into a uh, sangat in another country it just our memories get attached to that as well that like right. if one whenever we think of whenever i think of uk i just think of ha utthe sikhi si utthe bada prem si sangat ta but some people might go to england and think of like oh big ben you know the queen or the king you mm-hmm. know idan de chija so it's all about that drishti though how you're actually seeing uh sikhi and how you're actually seeing the world because if you're able to do that um through a sikhi lens it's only going to benefit you True. Did you meet Jagrat Singh ji there too? I never met by Jagrat Singh in England. I've been just Canada then. Just in Canada when they're here. Yeah. ठीक है. And do you feel any difference as an organization basic has there in regards to here? Is there any comparison for 
what kind of prachar they do in england is that different from what we have in america or india or canada yeah i think in um, in canada or in the, the influence I- too they have it on people in general for sure they in england um they're very like uh they have a proper organization and it's there's an office space there that they all go to a sick pa mighty calls mm-hmm. uh, basic security where they base off of and they have a very uh, organized structure so it's more of a professional work rather than volunteering right, with the organization right. so here in in i guess in north america and then even uh, i'd say in middle in the sorry not the middle east in uh, in southeast Mar- asia okay. in malaysia okay, and okay. india as well it's more grassroots mm-hmm. where it's like the people that are that benefited from the channel wanted to learn something more from uh sikhi and, and kind of there's other people that are like minded that are trying to learn something new and they can learn together okay so and you have been to america as well yes i've been to the united states as well okay. um and did seva there or just like i think it observe? was is more like just meeting by by Harman Singh cuz they're they're there right now. Anji. And it was just to kind of like get their sangat while I was there. But that was kind of that is basics as well. Mm-hmm. Whenever I'm with uh by Harman Singh with any of the sevadas it's it's not like oh we we have to do something x y and z. Just very naturally just organically like we we live and breathe sikhi. Mm-hmm. So when we get together right. it's like sikhi seva starts to happen. I see. Since we're talking about basics VG, let's talk about the person who started it, hai na? Let's talk about Jagrat Singh ji. Mm. So a big personality, uh, a person who has have had so much influence on youngsters, on everybody. I think uh, I have met so many sevadar, so many six in general uh, from the last few years, and I have heard the same answer. Oh, Jagrat Singh ji, did a video dekhi si. Ek that's that's what they say. Just like what you have said to me, Hena. Mm. I just saw a video. I was just one of the hundred subscribers or or whatever, Hena. So. Of course technology helps and he had such a huge reach and since you have met him personally how would you de- describe him as a person So when I think of Bhai Jagrat Singh there was a very short period of time there's a lot of people here that were in experience secure what used to be called SYF, SYF. and they they're the ones that I believe uh, called Bhai Jagrat Singh and they used to you know be in their sangat all the time so they had so much more of a deeper connection with How them. did they have connection with him Um I believe uh, because they're doing a lot of English uh, seva here anyway like they okay. had one of the gurdwaras here they're having gurmukhi classes they're having a lot of these events that were catered to the same sort of market Is it in Brampton? Um I believe so. It was a long time ago when they had that type okay. of um thing they they no longer have that they, now they do their seva like from That's different right. gurdwaras I've seen a video of Jagrat Singh saying that uh, SYF have kind of captured the gurdwara yeah. in a good way of course and because he was talking about the committee system and how SYF is taking over right, for the right. good So maybe that's the gurdwara you're talking about but it's gone you said hai na now it's they lost that unfortunately yeah, I was going to plug that in if, if they have the control why not like tell the name of the gurdwara but yeah it's okay if yeah if they've lost it but it's it's not something like that i think it's just committee politics in general it's 100%. just like that Hanji. um you know the youth are really um you know they're high spirited they have a lot of energy that we want to do good for sikhi um and unfortunately there's there's not necessarily like that type of space in our gurdwara is currently that allow us to grow in that manner so that, mm-hmm. that when syf were experience you know had that type of grow, growth it was just like oh this is miraculous that we're able to do this um and there is uh, i would want to get too much into it because i i'm not part of the organization Ji. um maybe perhaps you have someone else uh, that comes in and they Let's can speak about that that's somebody from the experience key yeah in depth and they know oh. what exactly happened but uh yeah pajit grad singh is just uh, you know what you saw in the youtube video is how they are in person it wasn't just like ha huh, ke camera chal gaya and then there's someone else who like hey, yeah obviously you have to be warm and welco- welcoming mm-hmm. to the sangat but Ji. no no genuinely even when they're sitting down somewhere like they're they're like an older brother type of figure right. like a very tough type of older brother very wise um you know even even if you have some sort of duniyavi gal if you have some sort of worldly type of advice you'd want from them very wise to to speak to them because they used to be not a lot of people know they used to be like a head hunter they the meaning like they used to do hr like um you know hiring and stuff like that, mm-hmm. recruiting and before that they're in the british army so that kind mm-hmm. of build their character and they build their leadership mm-hmm. and being a philosophy graduate you oh. can imagine that's like such a bundle of it's all the greatness. eggs in one basket then exactly right. and and imagine that it it it's not like oh, okay this is something that um is like impossible to create it's a matter of what they did with all of that mm-hmm. all of the their different experiences they brought it back to the pant ji so it, these type of things i remember we were going um We we're going shooting one time all the way down in Burlington which is a, an hour two hours away from from where we are in Brampton and they had uh we were just been we were just com- we were just having a regular conversation in the car and uh, you know Pajigrat Singh's like let's not waste our time single 
Right. right. So very straight to the point. Let's let's you know practice Sikhi all the time. And what what they said was, "Jalo thodiya kirtan naalo." And I think believe this was on the way back when we, they had a katha after we went shooting. Okay. So we're going towards the gardora, and um, you know they said I had asked by Sabji because you know I had the auxiliary chord at the time, the aux chord. <laughs> yep. And I'm just like, okay, keda kirtan sunna chonde, and then they're like, you know what, what you like, you know you can put it. So I put on some of the thing, some of the um, I guess kirtanis from their channel, like kirtan and things like that. They mm-hmm. really enjoyed it. Um, and I asked them like, what type of you know what shabad should we put on next? And they're saying um, they put they're like here, let me pull it up, and then they found it, they put it up, and they it was the shabad was. Um, naam ke vyapari har ke naam ke vyapari like like hira haath chadya nirmolak chhut gayi sansari so even hearing that shabd that shabd represented who they were and that still stays with me till this day cuz naam ke vyapari it means like i am the the trader of of naam that i go around trading it throughout the world this is what they did they went all over the world talking about guru sahib's naam right hira haath chadya nirmolak chhut gayi sansari that this is like a diamond that's priceless has been placed into your hand once you receive that diamond then chut gayi sansari that the entire the, the problems that you had in the world the, the entire world itself you transcend matlab tusi ode upar ho jande you become outside of it those problems mm-hmm. no longer affect you so I, when i hear that shabad i'm like that's by the grace thing like you and that does explain by so for for those who have just listened him i think can agree with it ke jinna ko unhone youtube to dekha Paisa was somebody who had a lots of information because he ha- he was a red person. Uh, again, combine that with a sense of humor that he always used to carry with him. Because you you'll always see him laughing with students, laughing with their colleagues and everybody. So that's something that I've observed. That any one that I see in a person is in jagrasing. I I might be like speaking too mu- too good of him, but that's what I've thought. Because I was literally crying the day when I got the news that he's he's Boy. gone, hena. Right? uh and that's the first time i had a status like mara rakhe ko aap maan ke kitna hi aata i just went on facebook i don't know i just wanted to tell everybody that he's gone hai na go mm-hmm. to his channel see who he was hai na uh so it's sometimes difficult to like paana manna jada aukha lagda kai bari but that's how maharaj kind of teaches you i think i th- also believe that many times jado si jagrat singh ji di gal karde ha many times people would uh, kind of praise him for what he was because he's dead Right, so right. there's a quote that you have to die in order to get praised right hmm. so do you think ke jadon us zinda si te oto vi sari sangat including you uh, would praise him the way you do right now ke is it ke there is a slight latent factor ke he's gone now and we can speak good of him which normally is i think sidhu muse wale na le da hoya that's coming in my mind right now hai na sure. deep sidhu ho gaya or anybody really who once goes away from from the world and then everybody starts praising them while when while they are on the earth te oto zyada koi na di tareef karda nahi hai what do you think about it i think in general there's a lot of times it depends on who you are and what your relationship is to the person mm-hmm. i'd only met him and uh, you know meeting by subdue was just like i was still like in wonder i was always looking forward to watching their video it wasn't that didn't change from it but i think it might be different from someone that who didn't know them and just knew him as like a youtuber to some people depending on what their relationship or who they thought of the person um with god six it's kind of the factor is like this even when they go it's like their stories are still told after years and years and years and we still hear stories about good six from like hundreds and hundreds of years ago because mm-hmm. that that sachai is always there like maharaj says naam raheo sadhu raheo raheo guru gobind mm-hmm. right that the, the why guru's naam that bhakti connection to maharaj remains and those that did that bhakti remains and then raheo guru gobind that why guru themselves odd such jugad such happy such nanak ho sipi such it always stays the truth will always remain right So I can't really I don't know if I would relate that to say Siddhu Musawala or Deep Sadura or any of those uh, folks but I definitely say that when Pai Jagrat Singh uh, even when the announcement that um you know the, he had been diagnosed with cancer yeah. it it I've I've had relatives that have passed away from like you know various uh, different diseases and I've heard that news before but something just um involuntarily came out of me like I I you know we had a seva group and one of the sevadars from uk posted in the seva group the the i guess the the statement that was being shared around and i just i looked at it and like i still remember to this day i like just i just took uh, i just did it on came right. out of, uh, came out of my shower and uh, just pulled out obviously pehla ta nitnem karna chahida si but i just i pulled out my phone first cuz right. i was i saw it was blowing up so okay. i kholya and then i see the message and i just sat down and it's like it's not involuntarily just one drop tear drop just came out like that like pata nahi kidron it wasn't even me like trying to actively do it but sareer vich udda nikli gaya si 
that's so, probably the pr- pr that he gave you right oh i agree that he keeps spreading i think another pr hon basic of sikhi through lokan vich ja reha it's very fair to say that people who see their videos or see basics uh videos in general or any seva that basics does hai na because i think in the last speech they mentioned that uh they they have heard the talk of legacy hmm you know from canada they and he said that this is going to be my legacy you know he said that if anybody wants to remember me like go to the youtube channel asi tanu bulande rahe ha tusi gurudware ch vi aaj jaage like i completely remember the video and i'm pretty sure that you know the video as well yeah. you know, i see you smiling so i know ki tanu yaad hai so how do you feel ki is basics being where basics should without jagrat singh ji uh, honestly agar main apne bare dassa te i have felt being, being very you know, honest with you mm-hmm. the many times i feel basics uh, without jagrat singh ji does lack somewhere and it's very fair to say because the person who started and who has a very a uh, strong stake yeah. in the in the organization has gone but even without that do you think that they are doing pretty good without bias of course right so since you're a sevada like being neutral what would you say that they are doing yeah i think there's one organist? thing that they had that is that everyone i guess should ingrain this quality by jagrat saying on that same trip when we were listening to kirtan on the way I played one of the uh, Kirtan tracks uh, by Kiratan Tum Ho Sab Rajan Ke Raja and this is probably in the last hour when we're getting close to the Gurdwara Sahib mm-hmm. they're listening to that to that shabd with their eyes closed and all i could see was just tears flowing down like right. a jada prem ya this love for sikhi is something that goes outside of like you know outside of seva and all these different types of things it's someone that uses seva jithe bhi ho jithe bhi ho jande ya that sikhi starts to flow it's like you know you see those videos of like certain video games those hard is a um you know it's like it's all destroyed some sort of place mm-hmm. and like khara para ho janda it all becomes like very uh, like lush right suke ka se thariya jada maraj ke de right right <laughs> like it comes in rara sa oh, yeah. uh, maraj is maraj is now maraj is gor six they turn some place like some place like uh, like rampur khera Jee. they take that place as a care it's a ujjar it was a place that was complete wilderness no one could even everyone tried to settle there no one could settle there and that that sikhi is what made that place flourish so jithe bhi ho cheez hai ga you can have an organization you can have seva continually to go the thing w- w- that i can say within this uh, within our organization is it's kind of like um, you know you, you hear the term like headless leader right yes. or sorry headless uh, organization leaderless, or leaderless, leaderless or, yeah leaderless organization you know you have the the main root the one that started everything that envisioned everything they're missing so there's kind of a there's kind of like a, a some time where um there there wasn't a sense of direction as we probably might might have had with by jagrat singh um but you know by uh, harman singh right now because it was a it was a uk centered organization um because everything started there mm-hmm. but now pai uh, pai harman singh has created these guards these these forts in in like ontario in uh, in eastern united states in western bc uh in western united states all these different places and they're continuing to grow and grow and grow True. where they're able to support those places because they have that same type of gur sikhi that same type of love for maharaj so they're the, the people that are with them they you know if you you need to really believe someone's vision in order to support it to gather people around it so whenever i'm with uh, by harman singh they definitely have that quality so it's mm-hmm. just a matter of um i think maybe the attention is is less because the youtube channel is at its its core we've actually on the youtube channel it's, it's grown more subscribers um and there's we've had like record you know view counts on the on the channel as well mm-hmm. so it's it's a bit odd it's it maybe i guess uh, an an after uh, sort of uh, reflection because people were so used to pai jagrat singh's videos dropping every single week and he was very maybe. charismatic in that manner But I'd say Seva is still going pretty chardi kala. Right. It's just a matter of, I guess, uh, perhaps um, it's not being recognized as as it might be in the in the past. I think a lot a lot here locally, um, whenever Pai Harman Singh comes around or whenever we have some sort of Seva going on, everyone's like, "All right, let's let's do this, right?" Um, so I think I think it's just changed because you know Pai Jagrat Singh was such a um, a great influential. Influ- yeah, he's so influential, so charismatic, and that it's like very hard to replicate that. Right? 100%. And, uh, so what we're doing right now is we we still have great seva. We have the hand of um, Guru Maharaj on our hands, and you know that torch hale budi ni hagi, right? That that light of Pai Jagrat Singh and his vision hasn't extinguished yet. We're still uh, coming through and putting out content. We're talking to universities. We're doing all the seva that you know they wanted all of these local cities and uh, places to have. So I think it's very chardi kala, but. Um, Yeah there's there's definitely just a, a change in atmosphere that makes it seem like oh maybe it's not uh, the same 
Yeah, maybe. And also, there's also a bias that's attached to the person, right? Mm-hmm. So it might be a biased opinion that I have that I haven't felt the same again because of the reason that I have so I was so used to see, uh, I would say, Maharaj, sorry. I was so used to see uh, Jagra Singh Ji in every video. Yeah. So maybe ho sakta ki I have a, that biased opinion. It's interesting to see ke how Jagra Singh Ji used uh, street prachar and stuff that hasn't been done huh? okay. F- from any organization. Right, right. So considering that, does basics uh think about having uh, street prachar again in us or canada or uk in general is that on the plans or yeah i can't speak for the entire organization but okay. at least when i was in the uk just a couple of months ago we did street prachar there so it i think it's the the whole aspect of oh, is it the video being harman singh ji so, even, uh, so that was I wasn't there during that time. Okay. But we had street prachar even before that as well in London. Like that was in Scotland. Okay. When we were in in uh, England still, we 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 went into street prachar at like central London um, near the Gurdwara there. Das had an opportunity to be blessed to katha uh, at the stage that Pajig Rat Singh first did katha. So it was like all, all of right. these different things. So it, they've been happening. We've had a, a street prachar here as well um, for our longer days and things like that. But the thing is. It's I think perhaps like the recording and and sharing it to to the sangat that's probably been um, probably I guess uh, not happening as much as it might have been before, and it's it's very hard because um, you know there's so many videos that are being produced by Basics and there's uh, only a few recently that we've had come out um, with street prachar that we've been doing um, I guess like like in England or Scotland or uh, here we haven't recorded anything if I'm being honest that's probably the the place where we need to pick up on where we're recording our street prachar content and stuff like Let's that. Let's do it. Yeah. <laughs> we're we're gathering the resources for it, right? Cuz they had a full team like of uh of um like dedicated of dedicated volunteers. yeah, editors, like people that are recording and stuff like that. And you got Virji here uh and so there is a potential for it. And uh I think w- we should do it and we we can definitely do. It. We've had great conversations doing mm-hmm. street prachar. Like there's people that um we met that were homeless and like right. but it's it's not like we don't have that drishti like oh man these guys are poor it's more like we were actually hearing that yeah these are people and they they're going through the same problem as people that are filthy rich like they're still going through the same type of uh um you know duk and mm-hmm. suk that we we go through like oh nanu khanu mel janda ya chalo jado khanu ni malda they're still stuck up in relationships like their attachments in calm in crowd all the things i'm already just speaking about whether you're rich or poor mm-hmm. you can still go through facing the vikars so mm-hmm. but the thing is the people who are uh generally like homeless and things like that they were more open to listen to the messages a lot of the time mm-hmm. because they it's like that time like they're looking for hope in their life true and maraj has maraj is you know the nath of the anath right he's mm-hmm. a master of those who are don't have a home right he provides a home to them so those people they definitely put in their uh, hope towards maharaj and a lot of them look towards spirituality and they're you know we're telling them oh, remember why well, remember uh, god in whatever form that you have there's some people that are muslim and they have their 99 names of allah they can remember um god in that way there's you know koi bole ram ram koi bole khuda koi sive gusse ya koi ya koi allah hai right So there's many ways. Hega ek koya kaal par ke there's only one wahe guru. Well there's many ways of of perceiving that and there's different traditions that do that. But simran bahut zaruri hai that that remembrance of wahe guru. But uh, obviously we don't remember wahe guru. Mara says art pa ra rat diya 24 hours. Right? We don't we don't necessarily do that but we have to slowly obviously uh, it's it's not like it's not easy to climb a mountain, right? ek bus chat chat pa jani sakde you can't just run up a mountain mm-hmm. you have to slowly wake, w- w- make your way up so the same thing with the, with the sikhi the simran you slowly first um, you start 5 minutes the 5 minutes turns into half an hour and so on and so forth right they they kar de kar de maraj kripa kar dende ha na and it does make sense when you if you see doing something really fast to sidhe chhan nahi laga sakde you can't really notice your progress in whatever you're doing yeah and speaking of the homeless people you were talking about the closest community or the group of people that i can think of is the international students okay aaj hi sari swere asi glatton gurdware gaye and we were talking to the students there and not like kind of relating them to the homeless people because they have a home uh, which yeah. they are renting right and they have food but the problems that they share are so much close to the people who we consider as unfortunate because mm. unno we khandi problem aa rahi hai they don't know how to uh, deal with the cultural shock language shock educational shock so talking to them i was like there should be organizations that should be com- be coming together uh, and i was thinking of basics khalsa and all those 
uh, amazing organizations that we have here. Yep. So obviously, you would have talked to some international students, and there are a lots and hundreds of students that are coming abroad, right? Yep. Be it UK, US, or Canada. So, what do you think? Have you had any encounter with uh, any international student in general, or what do you think about them as a community? So obviously, for those that don't know and can hear my very shuddh English, um, <laughs> I'm born in in Canada. Obviously, from the Punjabi community. Um, but uh, I, I definitely see a lot of, um, you know, within the politics of, of here living in the GTA, there's always like, oh, student, I got this, student, oh, got this, whatever the situation may be. Mm-hmm. But I've always seen it as, as um, the common know, saying, and then Gandhapaya. Yeah, Gandhapaya. Like, I, like, I see that, like, I see what they're saying. But then to see, when you look at the, you know, we have this ability, Maharaj has given us this Deya Drishti. Maharaj has the ability to look at everyone, like, compassionately. Maharaj has, has that capability. Maharaj gives that that uh, that compassion to their Sikhs as well. He's Dayanid. Yeah, they are, Maharaj Dayanid. They're the right. treasury of, of, this, uh, mm-hmm. are, of this compassion. So when we start to have that type of drishti, we start to see that, you know, when you see the world suffering, then, see, then that Daya is when you want to help someone, right? If you put yourselves in their shoes, right, we have this empathy, someone who has completely abandoned their entire life and the, the world as they know it and is moving to a different place where they're like for example if i i'm giving myself as an example if i were to live in india right now and say the whatever the case may be i wouldn't be able to last it at all right so mm-hmm. the fact that a lot of the the students here there's different strengths so some are very strong and they're able to develop their resilience and there's some people that obviously won't, they, it's very hard for them to, to cope through it well the thing is it is a struggle it is a sangarsh so if people are gonna hate on the sangarsh hate on the struggle that a lot of other people immigrants have done as well then you know what's it, the difference then? what's the difference because a lot of times it's happening within our own community like people within our own community are are slandering people like students and stuff like that but they could you came to canada too you had to work you know whatever how many jobs to feed your family mm-hmm. um you know they have it even worse a lot of students have it worse because they're paying three times the tuition that we have to they have to work out on top of that there used to be a 24 hour i think limit or 20 hour limit 20 before. hour limit before now they've they've lifted 40. that but it, like imagine you can you're only limited certain hours to work and okay yeah i can get it there's some people that have um you know the same money back home and they're able to send but even still people have like sold their properties sold their farming and everything like that just to be able to come here true and it, to be honest it's like there's a there's a problem also in in the explanation of those that are in india okay mm-hmm. actually like so okay yeah, i think you were the one who told me like the last time we met that there should be a good explanation explaining the gore here that why are the students coming here yeah there's there's two aspects like there's mm-hmm. an explanation to someone who is um yeah someone who's in the area and just like oh like where are these students coming where are they coming from but there's also on the aspect of like cbc has this great um documentary i think it's fifth estate um they're putting out about uh, like students that got scammed coming into canada that uh, they're some some sort of third party college mm-hmm. like it's it has some sort of accreditation here in canada but then, like, if you go to the, the actual uh, college, it's like a it's like a store in a plaza. Wow. Yeah. Okay. So, but then people are coming in, and then they say like, oh, they've over enroll, and they don't have enough seats for that um, for that you know, for that college either. So there's so many different aspects of that people have to really think about. You know, we are gonna look at people with compassion because I can personally say, well, if I start to see myself going through that, I couldn't do any of these things. I couldn't mm-hmm. go and move to another country. And have have to like study there, and then while studying, I have to pay like such a tuition. I'm gonna be left with so much loans, and like then maybe some people have to send money back home. Mm-hmm. I don't have I don't have the capacity for that. I'd give up. So if you're gonna again, if you're gonna knock down the struggle and say like oh like to see Gandhi by Jandeya, then you know you have to really look at it in depth. And I think एक चीज बड़ी जरूरी है कैन बस ते is the is the way that um, a lot of international students cope with with coming here right it, it is very in this world as we live in this time of darkness so if someone goes through pain the first thing they look for is like the bottle is like alcohol mm-hmm. is like nashe or something like you know is woman or whatever the thing mm-hmm. they may think that i'm going to find peace as a result of this 
but I've seen also a lot of Sikhs that came from India that may not have had a strong backing or tr- like they weren't into Sikhi that much. But when they came here, that struggle, that, who did they look to? They looked to Tan Guru Nanak Dev Ji Maharaj. Right. They looked to Guru Granth Sahib Ji Maharaj, even though they didn't have any connection whatsoever. But they, they were at such a point, they were hopeless in their life. And they left it to Maharaj and then Maharaj ne ona so Tape Tape Yeah. Tape mm-hmm. Maharaj de agge. Right? They, they fell at Maharaj's feet because they're, they're hopeless. If, you, if you're hopeless and you keep drinking, you're going to develop a, an addiction to something and it's going to ruin your body, it's going to ruin your social interactions. Mm-hmm. Well, look at this. Someone who joins Sikhi when they're in such a hopeless state, whether they're heartbroken, whether they're, uh, you know, financially not there, Maharaj gives them a community, they give them Sangat. And then Maharaj gives them the capability that they can give mo- so much that they have, uh, they, they can th- give the Swand as well, give back to, uh, you know, the a lot of the Sikh organizations. Mm-hmm. So this, this Sikhi is a path of being win-win. That's what the Janam Viso Ar Hojan. You know, you, even when you pass away, to see Fere Maharaj Nal Jordi Jandaya. And so the log so kiye par log so hille. So your this life and your afterlife is oh sare kathe ho jan. So this is the beauty of Sikhi, and the, I think the, that's the main thing I try to save for anyone that's um, you know batting down international students to see up the other stina dekho again mm-hmm. something from Sikhi, and then um, you know if someone is going through something that's this rough that they should also look at it. Um, as Maharaj is there to support you as well. Don't feel down. Maharaj is there to support you. Hai. As we're recording this, Maharaj is there to support you. If you're listening to this, wherever you are, whatever t- year this is right now, I don't know how many years you've been watching, when you're listening, Maharaj is there to support you. It's just a matter of whether you can, whether you're remembering them or not. That's a good reminder. Mm. And interestingly, I've seen many students who have been international students before and now they're permanent resident. Uh, but they still do the same thing, leg pulling, telling international students who are really new to Canada. Mm. And they'll be like, Haan, gand nane, eh, kita ho, kita. So that really comes into handy ke seeing, as you said, ke main thi, unj bhi karni hai. Like we, we have to have good jobs and study hard. But again, for the tok, eh, log par log le, we have to make that happen as well. Yep. So spiritual progress is important as well. Ke si aake, Maharaj na diye. Um, I remember Jagra Singh Ji. Again, uh, he was doing the Keetan Sohra Katha and he says, uh, Prabhuji, tu mero hmm. And then he goes off for like a five minute, ten minute talk about how uh, the Botal is being the Sukhdata for the Punjabi community. Like I remember exactly like that's when he went off to that direction. He said, Kisa, So Guru Granth Sahib Ji Maharaj should be, this, should be someone uh, which we look up to. We go and have darshan of them. Hai na? Yeah. So w- one thing that I've uh, recently found very really good is what you've been doing lately for the last one semester is talking to students going to campuses you've been really you've been on a tour if uh, i can say that for the last two three months been to so many colleges uh universities as much as you could henna so tell us about how was that did you have any interactions with students locally here hmm. or international students or in general uh how did you like their questioning like is it because sometimes the questions of the people are really for their own benefit? They want to mm. ask you something, Kasi air karsakadeya, right? Air right, right. allowed, hai. like they'll be asking you, Asi meat karsakadeya. So, yeah. like, so, so the Pracharak or the person who's speaking can really tell uh, how the audience is, right? Mm. Uh, not to like kind of judge their j- spiritual progress, right, right? But you can really sense the vibe of this Sangha that if they're asking the questions for their own spiritual progress or yeah. they're just asking for the sake of it. So how was the campus tours and how was your last two, three months in general? Yeah, I think the campus tours are very good. Even before, like, the idea for it is uh, Das went to England. And during that time, Pai Harman Singh was there. And we had a lot, just this energy, this you know, being with the song is like, Asi kosh kari hai hon, and we should do something. So We could sense that. It, and then yeah. we are like, Chalo hasi farte chak diye. Then when we came back, I think we had the hike a week after I came back. and That was in know, September. Uh, was it in September? August? September. I think in August. August, okay. Yeah, yeah. I, 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 oh, that's I when you came back from I came UK, back, right? yeah. Okay. So I came back. So you I, had that energy. I think I you should energy. go every six months then. <laughs> I think I should. Right? <laughs> should. So I had, uh, so imagine, in the in Kosha Sangha, which energy, I got COVID, came back, and, you know, right. there was going through COVID, but I'm still like, you know, Maharaj Kirpa, Asi Kosha Kariya, we had this hike. Um, and it's just finding new ways to connect with the Sangha, not even the Sangha, the average your uh, average community, whether Punjabi or not Punjabi, mm-hmm. showing them that, you know, the Sikhi that you may know 
is not actually what it is. That's a lot of the the conversation that we had a lot of the the colleges and universities. We generally had um, a lot of the locally born um, students here, like a lot of people like me, um, because they're generally at universities and a lot of the the college demographics are the international students. Um, So we had a lot of students that went through the same experiences as I might have, um, you know, growing up. They the whole thing was like I could see a lot of people nodding their heads because it was these type of examples like, oh, what do you think Sikhi is about? What you think, like you go to a Gardora and someone has, uh, say, a Sukhmani Sahib part, you have a Sukhmani Sahib part and it's like, you get together, like someone who's grown up here and you go, this is a social gathering, right? right. It's like, I know. Right? So, but we have to look at these things. It's like, we let's look at these, let's explain these. If, I've seen, I've seen, I've heard Kirtanis uh, really talk about what Shabbos do they uh, kind of sing in front of the Sangat. Right. And believe me, the talk's not like, Ayala vela hai gaya, let's read this Shabbat. They're like, okay, Shabbat nahi padne. Why are we reading Bikhambani? Just read Lakh Khushiyan Paashayan, let's read, uh, I don't know, Tati Wana Lagi, Parvun yeah, Paar, Abraham Sarnai. And the Sangat really kind of goes with it, right? Yeah. So it's the responsibility of the Sangat, but, but of the Kirtanis too. So I, I really agree with it. Yeah, it's Kirtan not to blame the Kirtanis. Kirtanis, uh, they're just... Not to blame anyone, like, but that's know, what, like, what's happening at the moment. It, it's like a supply and demand. demand and so it's like that. So the demand is... <laughs> ke, si karo, fir <laughs> supply bhi hoi hai, right? So the thing is, is like, where does that come from? If we if we see someone having a Sukhmani Sahib part, and then you hear like in Ardaas, uh, in the Ardaas for it's like, oh, Hanji, um, oh, bachche da, whatever, ho jave, ja, oh, unanu nami naukari shuru ki ti hai. Chalo, that's a good thing. You're using Sikhi as a way to start off something new. I think right? if it's that much, then okay. But then they have like list of, they have a list of names. Di- and there's a list of different names, but they have these demands from Maharaj. Mm-hmm. And there's a lot of people that, um, you know, whether they're born here or they're from India, Jadarviya, their relationship with Maharaj is simply a give and take. De de yeah. sa sa guna. But, so, right? They 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 uh, give say, say like oh map on so dollar uh Gordor Sabnu Dittea the Honona Mera Sukuni Sai part Kale Hon Mera business Bodhya ho right? That's the type of like mentality it is currently existing. Mm-hmm. But as he dekh dekh Maharaj ki jaan dea, what does Maharaj want? When you hear that Shabd Lak Kushiya Pachaya, just have to go to another kare, right? Maharaj will give you hundreds of thousands of Pachaya, right? If Maharaj blesses you with their kirpa, right? But what's the kirpa? Does it mean that Haan, Maharaj has given you kirpa? Haan, Maharaj, nahi sare Maharaj gives you everything, right? Maharaj is the data. Mm-hmm. But Maharaj, what does Maharaj give the definition of Padshahi? So Padshaho, Saha Padshahib, Nanaka Rehna Rajai. Whoever follows the path, whoever accepts the hukam of Maharaj, they're the Padshahs of Padshah. Right. So we've lost, because that's the thing, the, the, the importance of Gurbani in our lives has been lost. And I actually look towards a lot of Muslims and I praise them, because a lot of them, they live and breathe the Qur'an. And I see that and, I, and I'm like, this is how a Sikh should be. They should live and breathe Gurbani. They should do vichar. They, they think about this, gur, uh, this Gurbani and they think about what it actually means. A definite, what did Maharaj speak about here? What is the context? What is the thanka? Mm-hmm. Why was this even being recited? The Maharaj, so this is uh, commonly heard in, in Sodar, in Japji Sahib which you on the air, Rara Sahib which you on the air, So Paat Sahon Saha Paat Sahib Nanak Rehna Rajai. And no wonder why Muslims have their ayats cunt. Huh. Like they can really quote you the page number, the section and the ayat number. And I again like to uh, recall something that Jagarasi said that it would be a blessing to see Gur Sikhs talking Gurbani. And like we are having this which are right. Hmm. And kind of quoting Gurbani, that should be a good thing that we do. So quoting Gurbani and telling uh, so Maharaj and Ang Ayat Eidna Likhaya. So kind of backing your, uh, whatever you're talking about. Right. So kind of backing that with the Gurbani that Maharaj has said. So it kind of validates whatever you're talking. Yeah. And, and it's a really good way to talk with Gur uh, Something that Baljee Singh Ji said was, Kadi Tushi Gurbani Tuk Bol De Hon Deo, Te Naal Koi Gur Sikh Pehani Abhi Bhi Bethi Hai, Koi Pra Bethi Hai. And they, they have an obligation, they have the responsibility to complete the Tuk. I remember oh, he was yeah. giving an interview somewhere and he's like, so Maharaj Kende, he, he goes very slowly. He's like, Maharaj Kende ne, Pahi Prapat. And he goes, he just you know, vanishes. His words are done. Then on Tuk Pulgi Hoi, Jad Keli Tuk again. We read that mm. every single day in Rara Sahib the part. And he's like, uh, he goes to the sing, not goes to the sing, but like he kind of signals the sing, sitting across. Yeah, he's like, you know, Tuk the so, like you have to tell me, you're so happy. So it's a good way that you kind of bond with Guru Sikhs as well, right? Because yeah. Guru Bani, you're talking about Guru Bani. There's um. 
there's Pagaji who does uh you know I can't even begin there's like a, there should be a podcast just dedicated to someone that can speak about their seva just one singh ji yeah pagaj just one singh ji they they did seva of um of the recording seva of sandhyani gurubachan singh khasa pandrali again there's explaining them can take so much uh, time but yeah. to understand is like they're it's a very uh, a great gursik wow. and a lot of people love them and their sangat and there's some things that i've um you know heard from them they've said get eh gurbani jehdi hai it should be practical it's not it's not like oh it's just a, like a certain place like it's like okay we have a schedule on our day there's one section that's like oh this is sikhi and then everything else is like jo marji hove that's not what what mara just telling us it's like it should be throughout interwoven throughout our entire life we often take a lot of other lenses of the world um and then we apply them to sikhi but it should be sikhi first applying to everything else although first on say then you get the the right thing that will help you and will will bring you towards maraj so again on that uh, even in japji sahib we see roz padhte hain again right just no bakse sept sala nanak padshahi padshah the whoever is blessed with kirtan of maraj of singing maraj's praises they're the true padsh they're the true padshah so the padshahi that you're wanting of like of having riches and gaddiyan and like all these different types of things maraj is telling you ke eh cheeze tusi chhad do don't even keep ede te cheeze de aas na rakho mm mm-hmm. Mara is saying that hira hath chadya nirmolak. Mara is saying that one hira, that diamond, that is priceless. To see other magar pajo, chase after that. Oh yeah. The first sort of digal bandiya. So these type of things of practically living, that's I think what we should be focusing on in this 21st century. We have the ability to uh, to, to pull up Gurbani really fast on our phone. We can we can be at any situation and just think of a few keywords and then search that up and we can find some Gurbani Pankti. connected to that they never used to have that ability you know just 20 years, years ago 10 yeah 10, 10 15 years, years ago so we're very lucky to be able to have that and then we can literally see see roz koi kaam karde ha and it, it can be woven into our daily tasks right oh cheez ja hai this is how sikh is um, how maraj can be remembered 24/7 how they can art para radhi ke dan jo ni have maraj is like just is like is in front of you all the time when you everything reminds you of your love Jee. of your beloved and the gursik i can uh, remember is bhai gopala ji sanu saran sa ki pata hmm. ke kidda guru har gobind padshah ne kya se ke jab ji sahab kaun sunayega and he is the one who comes he is like das sunayega ji te oi pure shuddh laga matra de naal unne gurbani sunayi and when he is uh, towards the end te guru har gobind padshah is very happy with him hmm. te oi lakh khushiyan padshah di gal je sat guru nadar kare oh, but for the riches he was thinking about oh kehnda ke mainu uh, i don't remember kabul ya arbi ghoda mil jaye ਤੇ ਵਧੀਆ ਤੇ ਮਹਾਰਾਜ ਉਸ ਗਿਨਾ ਗਿਵ ਹਿਮ ਗੁਰਗੱਦੀ ਕਿ ਬੀ ਦਾ ਨੈਕਸਟ ਗੁਰੂ ਹੈ ਨਾ ਵਾਟ ਐਲਸ ਕੈਨ ਆ ਗਿਵ ਯੂ ਟੇਕ ਦਾ ਪਾਸ਼ਾਈ ਆਫ ਦਾ ਹੋਲ ਬ੍ਰਹਮੰਡ ਬਟ ਹੀਜ਼ ਲਾਈਕ ਮੈਨੂੰ ਘੋੜਾ ਮਿਲ ਜੇ ਤੇ ਮੈਂ ਠੀਕ ਰਵਾਂਗਾ ਐਂਡ ਦੈਟਸ ਵਾਟ ਹੀ ਇਜ਼ ਨਾਟ ਸੇਇੰਗ ਇਟ ਬਟ ਹੀ ਇਜ਼ ਜਸਟ ਥਿੰਕਿੰਗ ਅਬਾਊਟ ਇਟ ਤੇ ਮਹਾਰਾਜ ਕੈਸੇ ਇਜ਼ ਇਟ ਕਾਜ਼ ਮਹਾਰਾਜ ਕਾਟ ਕਟ ਕੇ ਅੰਦਰ ਕੀ ਜਾਨਤ ਨੇ ਤੇ ਮਹਾਰਾਜ ਕਹਿੰਦੇ ਸੱਤ ਤੇ ਮਹਾਰਾਜ ਜਸਟ ਗਿਵਸ ਹਿਮ ਵਾਟ ਐਵਰ ਹੀ ਵਾਂਟਸ ਐਂਡ ਅਰਬੀ ਘੋੜਾ ਦੈਟਸ ਵਾਟ ਇਜ਼ ਇਜ਼ ਟੇਕਨ ਹੋਮ ਹਾਂਜੀ ਸੋ ਉਹੀ ਗੱਲ ਹੈ ਕਿ ਤੁਹਾਡੀ ਠੀਕ ਹੈ ਗੱਲ ਕਿ ਲੱਖ ਖੁਸ਼ੀਆਂ ਪਾਸ਼ੀਆਂ ਜੇ ਸਤਿਗੁਰ ਨਜ਼ਰ ਕਰੇ sanu gurbani nu context padhna aana chahida we have to know what context it uh, it's speaking to us what uthan ka it has uh, from the past and why are we reading it in the present yeah in fact so je tusi hun asi talks di gal kar rahe si you were having talks in, at campuses hai na so when you design a presentation to give to the students do you have something in mind a topic that this is something that i have uh, encountered in my past and which is why i want to speak to the students or is there something that you as a team decide in, at the basis of the key meetings mm-hmm. or is it something that you haven't done in the past and you just want to do it or maybe you have done it and you just want to repeat it so how does that process goes of the making of the presentations that you deliver i think it it varies depending on who it is there might be um some of the other virgis that that may consult you know their good six around them um das kind of just sees jithe jitha man da dhyan lagda hai that like we're like okay the mind's going towards this is it something that look like, can it be presented to university students there's certain presentations we had that uh, like the theme the general theme is something that okay as someone that goes to university or college they're going through like motivation we had one talk on that mental health was another one um then there was um I'm trying to think ale honi kite si you had one at humber the oh, difference the, between punjabi culture oh, yeah. and the sikhi sikhi and punjabi Sikhi-y culture Sikhi-y so Sikhi-y. in that instance like the some of the sevadars at the university actually requested that they're like we okay. want you to speak there but please speak on this topic okay so that that it's a mixture of both if i would have to say but a lot of these topics it's it's not um limited to just the the college or the university 
or the or the topic itself or I the think. topic itself yeah because a lot of the, these things that we're we're hearing from the talk like it, das has a like baji grat singh's like long talk playlist okay. on on uh, soundcloud and go through that i never look at the title because all the way but the coach they keep sharing and it's like it's so useful it's so helpful it makes me think a different way mm-hmm. and it is the the main thing the underlying theme of all of das's talks was jida tusi samajhde ho sikhi oda hai nahi If you were to think of Sikhi towards motivation, you said like, "Ma, ki yeto dama." Oh yeah, I can ask for Maraj from something because Maraj started uh, Maraj day and wale ya. Right? Mar- then Maraj has given us so much more to be able to grow from that, right? right? Like we can see, I uh, see. Just look at it very like uh, cognitively, matlab apne mental terms dena. I see ki kar dena. Jado si jado si dukhi hon dena. We like say if we need to go to the gym, right? we listen to to music or you know whatever to pump us up to to get us ready for it right dunya vi beat us dunya vi dunya vi right? <laughs> so that that is helpful the ki honda jado si kado ke um you know we get angry or something it w gave our music the udar wala dhyan de danda ya um but there's so many things that make us feel a certain way the feeling then leads to the action a cheez hai so we can use the same way gurbani devi there's in traditional poetic um you know tradition in india not that on the ras on there there's nine types of um you could say tastes or genres to the which on the beer ras so everyone knows beer ras because it's like oh yeah i have beer ras bani love everybody wants it everybody wants it it's like this uh, spirit this war type of rage but what which hor we know so to know ras here right so what which hor ki on the naam ras haan ji naam ras Namras is like is more like the general like hanji. Oh, it's not included in the name. It's not included in that. This okay. is like traditional type of like so kada ke peet basara sonda ya. Peet basara is like like feeling disgust towards something. So kuch dekh de sanu da you know we start to squirm thinking about it, right? I'm wondering if that's a ras. You know what I mean? So it's so it's a kind of a bad taste then. Yeah, so okay. but the, yeah, it's 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 still a taste, but it's a, but a bad taste. But then. it's more like then fir da pyan ka ras vi honda. And we look at this. What is peyanik? Peyanik means to be scared of something. Like we, it's like scary, right? Mm-hmm. So horror genre. We could see like sadda sadda ko sadda samne daya. The shingar us that like allows us to to like it's like overly romanticized, right? Mm-hmm. So we see guru, uh, guru sahib like in this in this uh, shingar us. We see Maharaj like in in such beauty, right? We see Maharaj like with the Ramallah sahib and mm-hmm. all of these. You know, it, this the Maharaj's darbar has that type of like shingar us. Uh, shingar us there present, right? Mm-hmm. So all of these different things that we use in the world to motivate us, or jitte sada man paat kareya, it's like we can use those same emotions in context to gurbani and gur sikhi to bring us back to where we want to, right? So it's like we use this motivation to to get goals for to to reach goals of like dunyavi. Yeah, ha, man. I'll listen to the song and then I'll get up and then I'll do my work, right? Or I need to listen to calm music so my mind part can dani hega, right? These type of things. But then, what is the goal for us as as Gur Six? So you can imagine, like the goal for us as Gur Six again, the one that one forgotten Shabu the Pai Parab the Manak the Hariya Govind Milan ki eh teri bariya, avar kaj tere kete na kaun, right? So these main things, Pai Parab, this human life has been given to you so you can connect to Ahi Guru, right? Everything else, any other task is not of use. So that's the goal. Mm-hmm. How do you get to that goal? Then how do you motivate yourself to get there? That should be the question. But once you're able, to, when you look at such a huge task like that, then your little tasks oh, boy, shitty, ho jande. They they don't feel like oh yeah, this is a a very hard task. Oh, what's your task, ho jande? Because you realize, ये तो बस छोटी जी का लिया. मेरा तो my the main quest. We play video games. Side quest होना एक main objective होना. <laughs> so the main objective is usually uh, you know get to the boss and defeat it. Abaki, you can go and collect uh, like different kapde and stuff like that, mm-hmm. like we do in the world. I see, होर चीज़ कट्टे कर लेंगे यार. But it still doesn't help us to reach our our final goal. So, each one we have to start thinking about, um, and how do we motivate ourselves to connect to Maharaj? Virji, an honest question. So, see, seva karte ho, right? Basics nal karte ho. You tend to do seva wherever you want and however you can. Oh, so, see, some other than theo. Considering, hun me apne apte chakar chati mara. I know how much time I spend on my cell phone, right? Yeah. I have my Instagram account. I have my Facebook. I have my YouTube, Twitter, everything, right? So it don't mean that we just have the apps and don't use it. Oh, Obviously, if I have the app, I'm gonna use it, right? So considering to see in these days, seva kar deo, te to see how how do you man? I I'm pretty sure you don't have any personal Instagram page, right? No, I I did used to have one, uh, like okay. probably a couple of years ago, but over the past year. So what motivates you to not be on Instagram and not kind of showcase yourself as we all do and yeah. kind of like post pictures, use your Facebook? Mm-hmm. What has motivated you to not do that? 
I think it's just sikhi in itself because the, the, the sikhi isn't like a, a it's just a one part aspect of my life Maharaj Kirpa Maharaj Inna Kaushit Dittaya but Maharaj has give, given us teachings of Garibi as well I've learned from like Gursikhs uh, such as like Pagaji right They're, they always get the six around them to be like uh, to, to do job of Gurbani that speaks about those qualities right like Maharaj it. says uh, sab teri aai, koi na na mera. that comes in Sukhmani Sahib so mm-hmm. that's something it's not like they're telling you oh like you have to do something else they're telling you to go you know climb a mountain or whatever they're mm-hmm. like you go to six so encourage each other to to go and ingrain gurbani in their lives so i was looking at that gurbani pankti and like you know good six will say like to see that job karo. i didn't really realize the importance of that of doing the job of that until i start to see because you start to see that when you do the job over and over again it gets ingrained in your mind then you start to see a spillover onto other aspects of your life. Mm-hmm. Like we can see that we start to open up our Instagram. What is the main purpose of social media? It's like we are trying to break our ahankar. We're trying to break our ego, our, our sense of self. But that place is like the guard of, of doing of doing the opposite. True. It's there to, to make it. So you're trying to present it. And it, it, to be honest, it's not like something that I say like, Oh, I'll karo, oh, I'll karo, right? Very honestly, like ask yourself when you open up, when you post something, Ask yourself, why am I posting this? When you start to go open up your story and you keep looking at or how many people have seen it, like you can ask yourself honestly and say like, oh man, like that's that's actually hunkar. It's literal home pump. That's going it's home pump. It, and it's, it's like, so okay, there's even this idea of speaking. Why am I speaking today? I don't even like to speak. But there's like Gursix have said that like if you're going to speak to a group of people or where a group of people are going to listen, to see do something that can help other people. Say if you're going to say something, make sure it's it's going to be something that helps others, right? So we can use everything in that way. It's the our intentions behind it. Why do I have a social media account? Because I want people to see what I'm what I'm doing. I want m- me to grow. Right? right, I want I, like the image of myself to grow throughout the world. You can use your Instagram account like that. You can change your your DP your um, your display, display picture, picture like twelve times a day. You spend so much time just trying to work on your self image, whereas Maharaj is saying that look, you could use anything in this world as a way to help others. So Das is, has avoided using um, social media. It's not like it's like oh, this happened in a day. Holy, holy! I start to post like things a half about myself, half about Sikhi. Then uh, you know, using my name, not using my name, and things like that. Then fear it that hoga ke hone mein mera naam vartna hi nahi hega. Then then only putting social media content or or using uh, Sikhi content, and that also became my way of uh, of bhakti as well. It's like my way of concentrating on Maharaj. So if there's any type of thing share post that's being shared that needs to be edited. So to make a video no edit can like enough time lagda hunda even if it's like a minute long you have to you have to uh, look at it so many times so imagine the sahi gal ode vich aa rahi hai there is katha going on and you're listening to that for like i uh, say 30 minutes straight oh sade gal mand vich beh jandi hai and because inna tyan na tusi concentrate ho ke tusi kar rahe ha it like it stays in grains in your body so like that type of act the way that i'm using social media is actually benefiting you know me like and and p- making me closer to maharaj in that manner so it's just a matter of asking yourself your intentions and then moving past that ke ha ke main chalo main i recognize now that um this is causing me to suffer cuz i only mai chakran ch ghumi janda ya trying to find something nice to post and like seeing how many people are liking it let me turn that away so some people i know good six they don't they say like nahi bat nahi nahi chahiye that let's just go off of it cuz i don't want to even start off there you know they they could be following all the right pages True. but then they go to explore feed and it's like all gand yeah. right and i, I mean, think that's made for gand to it's uh, be clicked <laughs> right yeah yeah but even that you can change that too you get to see it that yeah, the more you see there, you can put not interested not interested not interested yeah. then you won't see the thing that you want to see right the you know the kaduk like you know gand there like people that are dressed dressed half naked whatever the case may mm-hmm. be a lot of money things that make your mind wander towards gam grow right. low moon god so then you can pull it up and you won't see anything like that it's really interesting how instagram's main uh, motive of being known right mm. is completely in contrast to what sikhi says koi na na jana mera yeah so mm. what really should be the case is is a gursik should be fighting the urge of being known right yeah that's very fair to say i think i i i do see that and that's the same thing why like i'd say personally there's so many good six that are on social media 
and it's like and doing the right stuff and doing the right stuff but it's also uh, so you didn't ask are you on instagram though Anji Das is and not personally but uh we've been doing seva for sick translations if you just search at sick translations okay um modern well, kirpa yeah it's a, it, uh, it's only to connect more people into it right mm-hmm. uh, i don't even see it as me doing it. a lot of times like maharaj api seva kariye and when i look at it, i'm like how is this even made it kind of like it came to be yeah i remember uh, texting you uh, viji do you run the page like i wasn't really sure and i was like uh, i see your likes or i don't know why i kind of guessed and uh, you replied uh, maharaj runs it as like why through it yeah right? no honestly maharaj any any type of seva seeing how like i used to be a mona everything that's come up to here has just been a miracle like sachi it's like even that in itself should tell people like the power of guru maharaj 100% that you know in nakosh the hoke and i can say like oh it's happening through this body the body maharaj the tarase is maharaj is like pity on das the um just yeah Sikh translations. If I want to just sort of give an example, uh, like just explain what it is. Yeah, sure. Sikh translations. Um, we've been focused on you know Pajig Raj Singh again carrying that torch forward. It's bringing he what he did was he brought a lot of the things that were already said in Punjabi. It brought a lot of very very well spoken Katha Vachiks and well knowledgeable Katha Vachiks, and he brought in English, right? It's, it's pretty much what he learned. He wanted to share with many other people. So in the same way, there's a lot of existing content there. and instead of me speaking about it which there are good six that are speaking about it we can take the existing content and translate into english so there's a website which is sikhtranslations.com and it has a lot of different texts like such as uh, the writings of pai veer singh mm-hmm. so if anyone doesn't know who pai veer singh is he's of the singh sabha movement of the earliest or uh, early, uh, the earliest uh, 20th century and um, during that time there was like the british uh, had like a huge thing to like oh yeah the six need to Uh, like there's conversions that were happening missionary things that were happening similar to what's happening right now in India um and then so then a lot of the the six were were pumping out sick content or they're focusing on you know doing sikhi prachar so that's the same thing that's happening now uh, it, but it's just taking a new light so the way the paige grazing approach isn't just for like punjabi people it's for anyone in the world that they can see they can take asara of guru nanak dev ji maharaj maharaj is jagat guru the guru of the entire world So that's a sick translations takes that and instead of like you know speaking in videos we do have you know obviously dastas speaking and things like that but there's like content there that people can look like really old uh, traditional texts like even uh by Virsing has a job sahib uh, tika like an, a commentary tika is a commentary uh, about job sahib which is very short mm-hmm. and it's like okay well they meant to 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 bring it out to people that didn't know what job sahib was and to give a little bit more context so it's a honvi edi lordia but the language very exists for people that grew up in say Canada or in England or America or Jiddari but they still want to connect with Sikhi True. so that's there there's um Shastra Namara Tika um there's a whole lot of other things like Garb Ganjani Tika so again Kavi Santosh Singh who wrote Suraj Prakash were working on um uh their Garb Ganjani they have a Japji Sahib Tika that they wrote right so and it's a lot of people use that as their um their oath during Katha like a lot of people you know, consult that uh tika that commentary to to do katha japji sahib so we're looking to present that directly to the sangat in english so maharaj kirpa a lot of different things like that and then we have um edits as well mm-hmm. like chandi diwar edits where it's like we take maharaj's imagery that's used in these type of uh, gurbani and just present it how it is like maharaj says maharaj is talking about um uh puta illa ka ga gasat goshat pakhya right so it's like maharaj is saying that the, these ghosts these like uh, you know crows vultures and whatever and like uh you know uh, other type of decomposing <laughs> animals they're eating the you know the dead warriors and so like the imagery that maharaj has presented mm-hmm. then we're just putting a we're just presenting that we're showing the those images of the things so people can with the shabad playing in the back with the shabad playing in the back okay. so it's like if maharaj has created that imagery so when someone listens to it they can imagine it they can visualize it mm-hmm. that let's visualize it then and then present the the translation of mm-hmm. it as well as actually create cuz you again using your shabad on instagram where we started the talk from yeah. and everything is on instagram you know and the uh, sicktranslations.com is the website you said yeah the website sicktranslations.com theek hai for the ones who haven't checked it just repeat it there uh, your hoodie brings me back basic of sikhi so we ji yeah. uh, what what happens in the next uh, two quarters of 2023 how is the uh, ontario team um, dealing with the upcoming opportunities so we've had a huge demand um, in this last uh, in the last 6 months and uh, by harman singh have been giving a lot of pump as well and that's something that um, you know das really appreciates and uh, in the next 6 months it seems like we're going to we usually have like a cycle we have our times where 
um, we have the Nagar Kirtans that come up during Basakhi. And that's the time where like the yearly seva usually starts. Mm -hmm. But then this year, we had so much demand for our talks at the universities in the fall that we couldn't schedule them all in for right. this year. So we yes, had to say, yeah, it's Maharaj is Kirpa, that right. there's that much of a demand. So we're going to a few other universities um, in the upcoming uh, year. And yeah, Maharaj is Kirpa. Again, we're going to continue to have our hikes as well. We're trying to create more social events mm -hmm. so we can sort of build like a community um, that can just, you know, go anywhere and then have Maharaj just to keep present there. I was thinking of one thing. Obviously, this is... Um, I guess being recorded and shared, who knows, Maharaj get, but it, it does happen or not. But there's certain things where it's like we can do like a pottery class, and there's so much yeah. Gurbani that talks about, you know, that this human body is a, is a pot, is a kada, yeah. right? And then we can, but the thing is, we haven't, not a lot of people know how a pot is actually made, how it starts from the clay. True. So people hear clay, but where does clay come from? It comes from the ground, right? And it's not like oh, it's some special type. Like the clay is like f found anywhere. Mm -hmm. So karda, anu, anu karke, or the the clay you're getting wet that. And there's a lot of Gurbani talking about that your body is just a weak, you know, clay pot that hasn't been like fully furnished yet. It's like a laga thanka. Yeah, it can just break. Udang. It's very fragile. So that's the way the human body is. That like your life is very, um, you know, uh, fragile as well. I love the idea. And in fact, like that gives a birth to so many different words and definitions. I remember Binod Viji telling us regarding uh, Matakash, Katakash, Mahakash, mm -hmm. Mahamahakash. So there's four types of space as well. Yeah. In English, we just pay, we just say space. But uh, there's like four types. The one inside the kara is one type of space. Yep. And the air outside is one. The air inside the house is one. And the air between the sky and the house is one. So again, like we can go on so and... Very deep, deep very concepts, deep. yeah. But I love the idea of pottery class. 100% we... If we if if the team can, we are all up for it as volunteers. If we can make it happen, or even archery class, or um, yeah, I don't know yoga class, like uh, do a hundred push-ups challenge class. <laughs> I personally wish I'm not the most physically fit person, <laughs> but uh, there's even things like yoga. Like I, I'll just yeah. touch on it very very um, briefly because Maharaj talks. There's like Gurbani that talks about yoga as well, yoga mat and things like that. Mm -hmm. um, I was speaking to my my sister about this as well. Who she's not too much into Sikhi, but she's doing yoga classes. And then I was just like, <laughs> like, you know, because, you know, yep. from yoga classes, from breathing classes, or, you know, the meditation classes. Mm -hmm. It requires but, patience too. It's but a, it's but a long that process. piece that you're looking for, the expectation also no man. True. The, the yoga that you're you're doing, you can get this type of, there's, you hear this uh, conversation between Sanjanal Singh and um, this this yogi woman. Um, it's The interview is available on YouTube. Um, she's like this she's like a psychic and she can like tell she's done like yoga to a level where like she can bring her mind to other oh. spheres of the world and stuff like that uh, have you have you seen that is that the woman who asks at the end is that the one yeah yeah yeah, yeah. and then he's uh, then uh, Sanjay Nalsingh says uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I think yeah. that's the one Hanji I've seen it so, and then there's a pundit as well a yogi yeah, in, yeah. in orange uh, and, saffron but Sanjay Nalsingh says there, they're like oh, you can you can, uh, it's good for your body. Uh, I don't know if they specifically say if it's good for your body, but they said like, you can extend the, the, the amount of your physical life. Okay. But then they're like, that's the key thing that they brought there. That's deep. Yeah. So they said that then, and they're like, they, and then the things that are around Sanjana Singh, and again, I'll just kind of translate that as well. So what Sanjana Singh was saying, was that um, you know this yoga is good to extend your life, but it won't keep you away from the panjavikar. You're still gonna have calm, growth, lobe, mo, the the you know your anger. You're gonna have your lust. You're gonna have your greed and all those different things around you. So it, this yoga uh, yoga is help helpful to a certain extent, just a physical thing, mm -hmm. but it won't help you reach your spiritual goal, as per what Sikhi says. But again, what I was telling to my um, my sister was that deko. Um, a lot of the people that are leading these classes, it's purely for ben for profit. Like a lot of people, even if they know a lot about yoga, like a lot of them, I'm just saying specifically, like people that aren't from like India, right? Mm -hmm. A lot of these people that are like selling yoga to people, and but as they're not selling the true the truth of it. If you read the Yoga Sutra, which is the the text that's attached to it, right? The by Patanjali Muni or uh, Patanjali Rishi, I'm not sure how people refer to him as. Is that Ramdev? No, kidding. that's that's a, yeah, that's that's his company. That's that guy yeah, who who took the who took Patanjali, Patanjali the, like, the name of uh, of like a, a great like sage, mm -hmm. right? And 
he originally uh, developed the writing for uh, yoga mat for this idea of uh, yoga but that that entire text is completely different than what you see in in like the the world of of yoga as we see it, the western yoga and these breathing techniques and whatever mm-hmm. they speak about this idea that you're taking your physical body first then your mental jithe sade vritti jandi hai where you have your 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 mental thoughts and your emotions to see ohna nu rokne hai you're going to stop them so they can reach a state of of calmness and that calmness will is will allow you to focus on um they don't specifically say like which like being or whatever but then sort of ohna da na yog hunda you have a sanyog right you have a connection you have a union with that this mm-hmm. is the reality of what of yo, of what yog mat is so even maharaj is giving updesh to yogis right even maharaj is saying that maharaj is the is the highest yogi amongst yog, uh, yogis so sada sikhi vich asal sach hai ki what even the or, the patanjali muni what what they even had their intentions for that are found in their granth it's like sikhi is telling you how to view those as well shiya kar chhe kar chhe updesh mm-hmm. gur gur eko vesane that there's so many aspects of the truth but maharaj is ekko ya there's only one wahiguru and maharaj is giving you gurbani so you can access the entire world i can read something in the quran and say like okay this is something that's a- according to gurbani and this is what's not i'll take that which will help me and i'll you know i'll i won't accept that which is you know khilaf ya gurbani the khilaf ya same thing mm-hmm. if i read any type of philosophy if i read dao de jing of the eastern chinese philosophy if i do anything with the uh, you know hindu tradition jinnavi she shastriya in the same way maharaj is giving you that drishti to be able to see it from that angle of the such ki ki sahi hai ki nahi hai so the same thing goes for films uh, i'm not saying like you know there's some movies that are probably like so so bad that they can't sort of mon take adani hai even watching them but there's certain films and certain like even music you'll listen to and they have the in the lyrics say they have the right message and or if they'll you'll watch a film and it has like some sort sort of deeper meaning behind it and that deeper meaning you can connect it back to maharaj's gurbani so this maharaj has given you this lens that's what the this gurmat loves means mat is like this uh, people just says like oh the guru's philosophy it's not that mm-hmm. it's a guru's lens it's like maharaj a sadguru the truth guru you know how how the app says the truth guru oh yeah the, the translations city. yeah so the they act- used to say it's uh, the guru of the truth there's the a lot of, of truth. lot of difference in those two yeah words. yeah even ekon god is there's one god but one god, that's yeah. the so there's way more to uh, obviously as someone that does translation seva it's not easy to translate these but a lot of what we have available to now like if any arm person any average person wants to go s- look about uh, search about sikhi they'll usually find like these translations that are written by you know um, i think there's um, macaulay like some of these british writers and like uh, you know people from the early early 20th century also when they on the angrezi bahut alag si we don't mm-hmm. speak that same english so the meanings here lag nikal like shakespeare english it's shakespeare in english so it's yeah. like all of which we dao like mm-hmm. vaise dao da satkar da shabd hai but uh, no one really uses that type of language like we're very um, like we need to be told like very in in our type of english the ochi ja koshish ya and then again um to se khoj karo and really reflect on the intentions of what you're doing and the intentions of what the guru's lens gives you oh i grew that's deep Like, they, I think we need to have another episode, Virji, uh, to to really yeah. talk about how different, uh, like we we were speaking about yoga, right? Mm. How stuff like yoga, martial arts, how they combine, combined with sikhi can be helpful in the life we, lives that we lead. Again, destroying our ego, talking about different sampradas and what we can learn going into each one, and how that affects our life in in general. Yeah. So I think we there's a lot we can talk about. of course right? it's sikhi it's a uh, sara jeevan hai the yeah we and can go an entire lifetime and still not be able to you know cover all of this true these phone batteries wouldn't last as much as i talks well, I agree. but uh, viji a- any parting words any concluding lines that you want to speak before we finish off no oh, well, i just want to thank uh, virji for for calling us out um, he had this idea for this podcast and i was like you know if we can do uh, we can bring the right message out to people and really be able to understand you know what the average sikh is going through a lot of people they see someone with a dastar and like amritari and they're very intimidated by that mm-hmm. um i'm not looking at you right now right so you can see sony jao kuch chup chup ite hai you don't have to necessarily um you know have to see me face to face right but mm-hmm. don't we're not intimidating whatsoever to see 
ਕਿਸੇ ਵੀ ਗੁਰਸਿੱਖ ਨੂੰ ਪੁੱਛ ਲਓ ਐਨੀ ਪਰਸਨ ਐਸ ਅਮਰਤਾ ਰੀ ਜਸਟ ਆਸਕ ਹਿਮ ਵੈਰੀ ਓਪਨਲੀ ਸਰਟਨ ਕੁਐਸਚਨਸ ਯੂ ਨੋ ਆਫਟਨ ਕੇ ਵਰ ਪੀਪਲਸ ਇੰਟੈਂਸ਼ਨਸ ਮਾਈ ਕਮ ਆਫ ਐਸ ਰੋਂਗ ਐਂਡ ਥੈਟਸ ਵਾਈ ਸਮ ਪੀਪਲ ਮੇ ਸੇ ਮੇ ਸਪੀਕ ਵੈਰੀ ਹਾਰਸ਼ਲੀ ਰਾਈਟ ਕੇ ਵਰ ਕਿਸੇ ਨੂੰ ਕਹਿ ਦਿੰਦਾ ਯੂ ਨੋ ਕਿ ਆ ਕਿਉਂ ਨਹੀਂ ਕਰਦੇ ਉਹ ਕਰਦੇ ਬਟ ਹੀ ਸੇਇੰਗ ਇਟ ਇਸ ਸਮਨ ਮਾਈ ਬੀ ਆਸਕਿੰਗ ਇਨ ਅ ਵੈਰੀ ਯੂ ਨੋ ਕੈਜੂਅਲ ਮੈਨਰ ਲਾਈਕ ਯੂ ਨੋ ਆਈ ਵਰ ਸਮਨ ਹੂਜ਼ ਅ ਹੂਜ਼ ਅ ਯੂ ਨੋ ਗੁਰਸਿੱਖ ਰੀਲੀ loves marriage right? right and it's like if you say something very harshly or even like you don't ask a question rightly it may be like why are you talking about my beloved in that manner mm-hmm. so bas a bentia you know see all the resources out there if you have the capability to help out the the pant as like say an amartari um then do it and find your way that you can do that uh, definitely check out sick translations check out the the youtube video and and see when we're doing a talk and you're by um anywhere in the world If you don't have anyone doing a talk in your town, you can give us a shout. We can um make our way there. There's a a community, it's like Woodstock, Ontario. Um now there's so the growth of like Punjabis in that neighborhood, but there's a few a couple of uh, probably 100 people that lived there a while ago and they said like can you come out to our sort of like uh, our Vasakhi type of event? Like we just want to hear Sikhi in our area because they don't have a Gurdwara. Like so that. even these type of things like it don't feel you know even uh, by Jagrat Singh went to a lot of these places where Sikhi didn't exist so if you mm-hmm. want us to do talks or you just casually want to talk reach out to us um you know anyone anywhere on basics of Sikhi basics of Sikhi North America and Sikh translations any type of medium reach out to the Gurusikhs and you know they'll they'll be able to respond Ranji ji that's amazing i was going to at the end again say about Sikh translations so that's something obviously the Sikh sangat or anybody really can check out the uh i am just gonna say the ending for the before we you promised that we're gonna have another episode are we gonna have one theek hai ji sath hai thank you so much coming down vidi we hope ke uh, basics of sikhi chardi kala ch aidan age vadhi re you guys have the torch lit up high te saadi ardas hai ke tusi sare hor sevadar ikatthe karke hor tagdi team bane uh and yeah the sikh pant prospers theek hai tanwaj ji thank you for coming down ji vai guru ji ka khalsa vai guru ji ki fateh